so hello everyone in the part 8 of this video we have seen that uh, how we can design the forget password screen and also we have sent the user to uh, the email sent the user e an email to forget or reset his password with our app so in this uh, video just uh, this will be a short video because uh, in this video we will solve some of the problems uh, which the user may face or uh, will is uh, still facing so let's get started so the first one is that we will set an icon for the app so as we have seen that when i launch my app so there is already some icon which is already set there means i have set there so i'll just let you know how to set this so first of all uh, as you have as you all have already imported the icon so here you will have to go to this uh, res and here in the drawables you can see this cards.png which uh, i guess you all have already imported so now let's come to the manifest so here uh, let's here you can see that uh, in the android manifest.xml here you can see this first is icon so we have uh, set this you you will also set this as your respective icon and here in the round icon uh, this now i'll tell you the difference between these two so the first icon is for the outer i mean uh, when the app will be installed so when you will scroll through the apps so uh, the icon this icon will be displayed and when you will uh, check for the app i mean when you will uh, press the i or uh, when you will long press the app and uh, when you enter uh, the like uh, that screen in which you have to force stop and then clear catch in that screen so in that screen this icon will be shown okay so uh, this is done now there is one more problem with our app that uh, i'll show you that suppose uh, that user suppose that user is pressing this button okay suppose that user is pressing this button this button so our app is getting exited or the app is automatically getting quit by, uh, by time so means when the user presses on this so the app automatically gets cuts or it returns to the uh, home uh, screen of the launcher so let's see what we can how we will solve this so first of all uh, so okay uh, there is one more thing that uh, if we will see this uh, when we turn it to landscape mode so we can see that the uh, email entering option is uh, disabled i mean that has been uh, is not on the screen and it is like it is completely distorted the shape is completely distorted so let's see how we can solve this as well so first uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to restrict the user to not rotate this or we have to restrict the user to use only for the portrait mode okay so let's see so for that what we have to do is uh, come here to project and manifest.xml and uh, declare one more attribute here in the activity uh, the first one is the splash activity so declare here as well so first one is the the uh, name we will declare as a screen orientation and make this as portrait okay let's confirm this so this one is in portrait mode okay so we have done this as portrait now let's uh, do the main activity as well in the portrait so that the user could not change the orientation of that, of that as well so android orientation and make this as portrait as well so now we are uh, good to go that the user will not the user cannot uh, put this in the landscape mode uh, when he or she is using his or her app okay so now there is one more problem that when the user presses on this so the app get quits or it get to the launcher mobile launcher uh, so let's see how we can solve that so coming back to main activity dot java okay and uh, here okay so here what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and create a new method here you can see this bit do it again so here we'll create a new method on key down and uh, this will be the return statement so first of all what we have to do is uh, we have to check whether the user has uh, pressed the back button or not so first we'll check for that so hit key code and we'll uh, make it equal to key even. the back button so these in which activity so first we have to check that because 
because it is in the login activity so we are uh, just easy that the user will have to exit but if he is in the register uh, i mean the sign sign uh, sorry forget password fragment so he or she will have to go back to the login fragment okay so here we'll check for the get activity so uh, we will have to make a boolean here so let's define that so declare private and make it static and check for fragments check for and make its default value as false okay now by default what we'll do is uh, we will first of all to pass this so here check for fragments and then next we'll by default return it as a false option okay okay now we'll go to this uh, sign up fragment because we have to send user from the this check for fragments here this is for uh, check for we can say that forget password and here we'll do the same check for forget so if the user is in forget password fragment so we have to send him or her to sign in fragment so we will come here and we will copy the code from the sign up fragment so let's copy that send in code so drag scroll down here and copy this set fragments so just copy this one and make sure to paste it here in the sign in fragments i mean activity dot java okay now just come here and paste it here now make this as, as set parent fragment and here also pass the set parent fragment remove this because we are already in the activity so remove this and this will be the frame layout because we are in the parent activity okay now this we here in the set fragment we will pass that login sign fragment which uh, we will pass from here so here pass the sign fragment now how we will pass that so we will pass that using set fragment right Okay, so we have defined this forget password here uh, in the previous video itself. So here, this is the transaction. So now, what we'll do is uh, we will we just have to add a line. So here, forget password dot add on add a text password. And we have retrieved. So for retrieving, now we have to retrieve this. Now where we will retrieve it? So come to this. Uh, Java and here you can see that this we have defined the check for forget password fragment so make it first of all public and let's come to sign fragments here and uh, here we will copy that name here this one and let's define it here okay now just press alt enter uh, so that it can be imported from main activity for Java okay and now here what is the error Press the back button so there is uh, 
the app is not getting exited and now let's come to the forget password fragment ok now let's press the back button ok so we can see that the user or the uh, app is not getting exited and we have successfully done this so this was all for this video i will see you in the part 10 of this video